good with you it is your boy travis kenley coming back to you with another one boy something that happened to me today and it kind of made me feel some type of way let me fix this it kind of made me feel some type of way okay so i'm chilling in the room with christina whistling or whatever i'm doing and i get a message from somebody I'm gonna leave your name alone because I ain't that I ain't like that. I ain't gonna do that to you. We ain't gonna do that to you. But we're gonna do the rest to you though. I get a message from somebody who is not even my Facebook friend. It's just somebody. Ugh. Man, I can't wait till the long guy comes. It's just somebody who has seen my YouTube and uh it's like a whole tractor over there, yo. He need to come over here. Who's seen my YouTube, know me on know my YouTube videos, know I've been at Prime, probably know I'm at Landstar now. And uh sent me a message talking about, hey, um, my friend, you know, applied for a trucking company and uh, you know, um something about you know uh he got drug tested. He failed, he passed the drug test. But they gave him a hair test. He failed that. So just wondering if that's going to, you know, stay on his record. I said, absolutely, it's going to stay on your record. And he's probably, Tony's he's probably going to have an extremely difficult time getting a job after that. Then the dude say, oh, man, how long is it stay on your record? Um, bro, I said, I don't know. You had to Google it. I'm, you know, but it's probably going to be there for a while. Now I knew I could have Googled it. But sometimes, man, if you're going to ask me a question that you can easily find the answer to, I'd prefer you just Google it. Search. I'm try Sometimes I try to teach people to get in the habit of searching for themselves. Search for your answer. Um, so Y'all see that, right? Where? Yeah, there's a the truck. I see it. Right? That's where we came from. So I Google it after telling him to Google it because I am curious how much trouble his friend's in. And the internet says, you know, you fail a drug test, it's gonna take five years before FMCSA uh, drops it off your record. Okay. So I tell him, yeah, it's gonna take about five years. Um, and he says, oh man, that sucks because he didn't even smoke. You know, he was just in the room with some people. So I just put the emoji like, bro, you can tell me whatever excuse you want to. Not only do I not care, they don't care. Um, and uh, I was like, yeah, man, you know, that sucks, bro. Don't know what to tell you. Then he start unsending messages, right? You know, on Facebook, you send a message, you can unsend it, right? To uh, destroy evidence that you sent it. So I literally asked him, I said, bro, I said, why are you unsending messages? Like I'm the one who like, you know, like I'm the one who failed him, you know? So why are you unsending messages like I'm, no, I said, why are you unsending messages like I made him fail? You know, like you can't trust me is my point. So why is you unsending messages like you can't trust me? Then he just put, okay, thanks. So after that, I just blocked him, right? Cause then I looked on his profile, realized we're not even Facebook friends. And now I blocked him, blocked him on my messenger, blocked him on Facebook. So you can't even see, you can't even see my Facebook content anymore. Okay. So number one, I'm going to say this, then I'm going to move on. If you ask me to be your friend on Facebook and you notice I haven't responded, that's why. Because I don't like having people on my Facebook that I don't even really know like that. We don't even have no mutual trust between us. You just see me on YouTube and you want to be Facebook friends. I don't know you. You don't know me. And that's why we're not friends on Facebook. Okay. I'm going to leave that right there. I don't have nothing against people. I just ain't friends with everybody just because you, you know, thank you for subscribing and liking and commenting and all that stuff. But that don't make us Facebook friends. That don't make us friends in real life. That don't make us friends. Just going to leave that right there. All the real ones know what I'm talking about. Now, we're going to move back to the content of the video. Minutes later, it dawned on me. That probably ain't his friend. That's probably him. You ain't got no friend. You're not contacting me on behalf of your friend. You contacted me on behalf of you. And that's when it lit me up a little bit more. Because I remember this dude. I remember being at Prime. 
And this dude asked me questions about trucking, and I told him I put him on game. Like, bro, it's great. It's a great industry. You know, very profitable. Woo woo wham. You know, all the stuff. You know, all the lines. You can you can make a good living. Yada yada yada. And uh, now that we get down the road, that's how he do. Like, you can't trust me. What is, what is Travis going to do? What am I going to call the FMCSA and say, oh, so-and-so hit me up. You know, ooh, you know, they worry about a drug test. Bro, the worst has already happened. You messaging me ain't going to do nothing. The worst has happened already. You failed. You failed. It's over. Don't. Don't come at me like you can't trust me. You did it to yourself. Weed and trucking. Okay? Because it's always weed. It's always weed. Weed and trucking. Okay? Choose one. Choose one. They will not coexist. Eventually, you're going to get caught. Choose one. Straight up, man. This coming from somebody who used to smoke on the daily, on the daily, used to smoke on the daily. This coming from somebody who done smoked it. Oh, I'm telling you, dog, I done spent so much money on weed, dog. This coming from somebody who used to dodge the drug test, who used to show up at Applebee's coming in high, eating the garlic bread out the kitchen. This coming from somebody who used to smoke daily, dog. Go to school high. Used to smoke daily, man. Blunts on blunts on blunts a day. Oh, my mama don't see this video. Blunts on blunts on blunts a day. Okay? <laughs> You not, you not, you don't come at me trying to trick Travis Kinley on some weed, dog. Pathetic, man. I hope old boy see this video because that lit me up a little bit. Come on, man. Always keep it 100 with people and you're going to keep it 73% with me. That's weak, dog. That is weak. And if you, if you coming into the industry and you think... You gonna hustle and play the game like you always have. I guarantee you gonna get caught, man. You either gonna get popped on a drug test and ruin possibly the greatest opportunity that's been given to you, or you're gonna get in a car accident or something real stupid and really mess up your life. That's what you're gonna do. You really, because after the car accident, drug test coming immediately after that, immediately. Pick one, man. Pick one. Choose either the blunt or your dreams. Choose one of those, man. Just choose one. I'm not bringing this on no moral level. I'm bringing this on a level of priorities. Priorities, okay? So you see everything behind me, you know, the trees, the woods. And I know you can't really see into the woods where the fence is, anything past that. But you see what you see. And you see the yard that's not cut. And you see the house back there. You might still be able to see the truck and everything. You know, that's what I bought and that's what I'm maintaining. So, so, so if I'm feeling tempted by any, anything at all, but if you feeling tempted by a blunt, you need to look at what you maintaining and say, which one do I want more? Do I want to keep in this property? You see, this is great. Blessed. Okay. Blessed. Blessed, man. I don't know if you can see the fence behind the fence. If you see the first fence, there's a fence behind that one where the actual line is. But, uh, yeah, okay. And I want this times like, I want this times 10, bro. I'm not in front with you. That's where my dream is. That's where my heart is. I want this time 15. That's where my heart is. This is great for my little family, but my dreams are 15 times larger than what you see. 15 times. So when I'm feeling tempted, I got to ask myself, which one you want more, the blunt or what you see times 15? But you got to choose one because those two do not exist in the same world. That is not how this works. The blunt does not exist in the same world as your dream. You must choose one. And see these churn in here, these churn want to come in the trucking industry and they don't understand this ain't, this ain't Applebee's no more. This is not Applebee's. You can't keep you can't keep running that game. This ain't this ain't that, man. You got to make a decision. Some of the problem is that 
too many mothers still got sons on the nipple. Oh, yep, I said it, man. I'm just keeping it 100. You're not gonna come on my Facebook unsending messages and all this other foolishness and think I'm not gonna keep it 100 on my channel, okay? Too many mamas out here still got they sons on the nipple. Now, if you're a mama and your son is still on the nipple and you're watching this video, I encourage you to take them off. That boy need to eat some steak. That boy needs some taters and chicken. Get him off the bottle, okay? Too many sons still got mama, you know, still living in mama house. You know, ain't paying no rent money, ain't paying no bills. Mama got you on her cell phone plan. Come on, man. And that's why y'all still playing with life. Y'all ain't got serious yet. Cause y'all had no responsibilities. You know, some of y'all have made some babies, but she taking care of the babies and you see them every once in a while. Come on now, if you're gonna keep it real, keep it real. Cause you ain't keeping it real when you tell me, oh, it's your friend. And uh, you know, it's your friend. And uh, huh, come on, man. That's why blunts ain't worth, worth it to me. Look around, dog. Huh? Look around. That's why blunts ain't worth it to me. Look around, dog. Huh? Lit barn. Lit barn. On breaker box. That's why blunts ain't worth it to me, dog. Huh? Too many of you ain't got no responsibilities. You ain't feeding them kids. You got her out there grinding. Huh? Got her asking another man, can he come fix the toilet? Huh? Yeah, I'm coming all in your face right now, dog. I'm coming all in your face right now. Because I'm the type of dudes I can't stand. They usually be the loudest ones. The loudest ones. Take one, two pictures a year with your kids, and you think it's hardcore. Come on, man. Get out of here, dog. Get out of here. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't. Hey, real dudes out here, we ain't hearing that, dog. We, we ain't hearing that, dog. We ain't hearing that, huh? Look here, look here. Freshly washed, baby. Me and the kids washed it earlier today. Huh? That's why we ain't out here with no blunts, dog. That's why we ain't out here with no blunts. What's up? Huh? Come on, man. Come on, man. Get your game up, dog. That's all I'm saying. Step your game up. Y'all stop asking us content creators. Stop asking us drivers what kind of drug test is going to be and how long the drugs stay in the system and you know, do they do the hair tests and stop asking us all these questions, man. Stop smoking weed, dog. How about that? Stop smoking weed, dog. Stop asking us all this foolishness, man. Come on, man. Stop asking us all this foolishness, dog. Huh? Peterbilt. <laughs> Look, for real, though, man. Come on, man. Step your game up, dog. Either, either step up and be a man, dog, or, or put your dreams on the back burner until you know you're ready step up and be a man and put your dreams on the back burner until you know you are ready come on man make a decision because if you fail that test you might as well throw your license away now you got to keep on taking dot physicals and all this other foolishness until that drop off for five years because nobody gonna hire you jay i ain't gonna talk trash about whom i hire you but it's some it's some companies that might hire you but even they're going to test you every 90 days. If you're not ready, if you're not ready, dude, they're going to test you every 45 days, 30 days. They're going to keep popping quizzes on you. If you're not ready, leave it alone, man. Leave it alone, man. Leave it alone. I'll stop asking us all that foolishness, man. Coming in my Facebook messaging with that. It's getting locked down, dog. All right. Me and the bride of my youth finna get on this motorcycle. Cause my mama is watching my kids for us tonight. Y'all married folk already know what the business is. You already know what the motto is. Work hard, play hard, sleep hard, find somebody to love. I love y'all. Don't forget, it's not about what you believe. It's all about why you believe it. Live free.